Hi, my name is Dr. Indranil Roy. I'm a specialist oral and maxillofacial surgeon and implantologist and I work in Dubai. I'm making this small video uh, uh, which will explain everything you need to know about dental implants in 5 minutes. This can be for a patient who wants to get dental implants done or it can also be for a dentist who wants to know a little bit more about dental implants. So uh, in this video I'll be explaining everything, uh, uh, what a dental implant is, the time frames of treatment, same day dental implants, all on for uh, uh, treatment, what it is and in the end I'll be also placing a dental implant on a cast so there's no blood involved in the uh, entire thing so even patients who are watching this uh, can uh, have a look and they'll at least get an idea as to what they can expect in the treatment. So dental implant it is a small titanium screw and uh, it takes the place where your earlier tooth root used to be and now it is not there. So uh, it is made up of titanium so that once it is placed in your jawbone it can fuse with your jaw and in the next two or three months uh, after it is placed in your jaw it, it forms bone around it. Once the bone is formed we usually give a tooth or a crown uh, it can be zirconia or it can be a porcelain fused to metal crown on top of this implant. The crown is connected with the implant with the help of a small component which is called an abutment. Now dental implants uh, come in many companies, many companies manufacture it uh, and uh, now there are around 5000 companies that do it. Uh, most of the companies have an equal success rate, uh, the success rate is about 97% which is very high. Now having said that it's not a 100% success and I explained to all my patients exactly what that means. So that means that maybe out of every 100 cases that I do, 97 succeed and they fuse with the bone, 2 or 3 may not. Uh, the some reasons that we know about uh, of decreased success is in patients who are diabetic, uh, have uh, vit vitamin D deficiencies, uh, heavy smokers uh, more than a pack a day. In those patients, the success rate drops slightly and uh, even that is important uh, to be explained. Immu uh, people who are immunocompromised, uh, those patients are at a higher risk of implant failure. Speaking about dental implant companies, uh, there are uh, uh, there is Noble Biocare, Austin Dental Implant from Korea, Strawman, Southern Implants, Alpha Bio. All companies are really doing well and it basically depends on your dentist in what he has been trained in and what he is more comfortable in doing and achieving, achieving with that implant system. Uh, now a little bit about uh, same day dental implants. Uh, same day dental implants means that you place the dental implant in the bone. Uh, maybe you extract the tooth and then place the implant the same day. And if you get stability, uh, there's a big if here, if you get stability, then you give a fixed tooth on top of this implant on the same day. In most cases, this fixed tooth is uh, something uh, made up of an acrylic material, uh, which uh, you know mimics a real tooth. Uh, and it is kept off occlusion, meaning that you cannot bite on it. It's just for show, it will make you look as if you have a tooth there, but it, it cannot be put in function, you cannot eat with it. The newer protocols uh, have come in where uh, we are even able to achieve uh, placing an implant and giving the final uh, zirconia or a porcelain fused to metal crown on top of this implant. Uh, this treatment uh, has its pros and cons and it is very important to uh, again sit uh, with the patient and you can also ask your dentist to explain this procedure if, if that your, your implantologist is into this uh, as to what the advantages and disadvantages of this procedure are. And uh, uh, the last bit uh, of this video I was thinking I'll just give you an idea about an all on 4 treatment. All on 4 is where uh, a patient comes to you with ill-fitting dentures, loose dentures and uh, you know they uh, dentures based on suction 
they just keep falling out so uh, uh, we place four implants in either jaw uh, and uh, uh, give fixed 10 to 12 teeth on these four implants by the end of the day so the patient comes in the morning uh, we remove whatever loose teeth are there uh, place four implants, two tilted at the back, two straight in the front and uh, when we tilt implants it allows us to place much longer implants and uh, uh, which, which helps us give 10 to 12 teeth in function by the end of the day. Last but not the least, I will uh, just uh, uh, show what a noble biocare uh, implant kit looks like and uh, I will just go through uh, uh, what the drills look like, the different widths, lengths and then I will just place a simple noble replace select implant on a cast. Uh, the usual procedure uh, may take about two to three minutes and in the patient's mouth uh, two to three minutes more. Uh, so uh, please watch on and if you like this video, please uh, like, like this video and do sub subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I'll quickly explain a little bit about this kit. So this is a Noble Biocare Replace Tapered Kit. This is one of my old kits. Uh, I'm using this old kit for the purpose of drilling into uh, the stone models, uh, which can obviously destroy the drills that I'll be using. But uh, that's why I am using it for this purpose. Now, uh, as you can see, this uh, kit has these drills and they're arranged in a way that they're pink, yellow, blue color and then six millimeter. So six, these are the widths. So Noble Replace Select comes in four widths, NP which is 3.5, RP which is 4.3, WP which is 5.5 and then 6 millimeters. So uh, and the length of these drills is written here. So if you want to play suppose a 4.3 which is yellow, our uh, regular platform 4.3 millimeter width and 10 millimeter length implant then you will start off by using this drill and it has a mark of 10 millimeters on it so you will go up till this mark then you will use a two millimeter twist drill and then you will use the final drill which is your 4.3 width yellow color 10 millimeter length drill so up till this full length and you're done so I'll uh, quickly show a simple implant case. This is a 15 number blade. I'll give a incision on the gingiva for a single implant. I usually keep my incision slightly more lingual than, than I would normally in, in the patient because it's slightly easier to retract. In this case, I'm also giving a slight release incision which in a normal case I may not give but uh, so that I can show slightly clearly I'm just giving a small release here now using the periosteal elevator I'll raise this flap this is a mucoperiosteal flap I'll raise it clean I'll hold it here and slightly lingual I'll also raise this flap just for the sake of sh showing it more clearly I'm giving a small incision here this incision can be avoided in the patient's mouth this is the bone now we will start the drill preparation in the bone so I'm starting with the pilot drill here. The length marking here is 10 millimeters. So I'll go till a full length of 10 millimeters. Gradually coming, going in, coming out, going in, coming out, and that's our 10 millimeter length. Then I'll keep this back. I'll take the 2 millimeter twist drill, which is the next drill. It gradually increases the width of this preparation and I'll go till again the length of 10 millimeters because the implant that we'll be placing is 10 millimeters long 
and 4.3 millimeters wide after the 2 millimeter drill now we will pick up the 10 millimeter drill 4.3 millimeters wide this is our last drill for preparation of our implant osteotomy again gradually going in going out going in going out till the full depth of the implant bed that's it we are done with the implant preparation so this is the noble replace select and i'll just put it in our implant side preparation yes, so that's why it was not talking now the implant is going in until it is fully flushed with the bone we will keep talking it down now we are getting some good talk yeah so this part should be buckle and we are done